let me ask you a question about career suicide. Yeah. You put a lot of personal stuff in there. I know you worked on it over the course of three years. Was there anything that you said, I have to leave out, there's no way to relate this yeah. on stage, there's nowhere to relate <laughs> this. Yeah. And without divulging what it was. There was uh, just a lot of stuff that was like too dark to the point where it's like you can't make jokes about that. Ah, you know? okay. So, I considering bet. what's in the show, you can imagine there are a couple yeah. things, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering you? about that too, because you really exposed your innermost thoughts and experiences, yeah. which is such a brave thing to do. And I think the night that I was there, I think your parents were in the audience, am I correct? Oh, uh, the opening, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then the night yeah, at the taping that there. Gene and Rich were at, my yeah. parents were also there. They were really nice people. Oh, I like really nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sweet but people. They recognized Gene. <laughs> I know, I was like, what? How was that for you, performing such personal stuff in front of your parents? Not cool. <laughs> it must have been a trauma, man. I, can, I mean, it's hard enough to do that when you're rehearsing alone. Yeah. But to do it in front of an audience with your parents there, and like, yeah. oh, my parents know now. It is a little trippy, yeah. And how did they react afterwards? Uh, my mom was very upset, and my dad just said, funny show, bud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, you said, you know, some things were too dark to be yeah. talked about in your show. Now, they used to say that Bush was lousy for the country and great for comedy. But, you know, by, by the same measure, uh, Trump should be great for comedy, comedy. But some of this stuff is just like too... It's like a soap too crazy. opera. Yeah, it's like a yeah. soap opera. It's too crazy. You can't make fun of it. Yeah, I haven't met one comedian who's like, oh, great, we have material. Like, everyone's like, this is too much. Like, yeah. It's past a tipping point where right. you can even see that as a silver lining. Right, and, you, and, and it's not something you can make fun of. I mean, you know, I, I see they, they do it on Saturday Night Live with what's-his-face, Alec Baldwin and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I'm looking forward to Anthony, what's his name? Antamonic, yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to his show because he makes fun of, of, of Trump He's gonna go as a hard person. Oh, yeah. And yeah. yeah. But it's really hard to, like, you know, this stuff is mind-boggling and it's scary. Yeah. It's scary. Yeah. And, and if you start, like, making jokes out of some of it, I think it... I think there's probably a lot of comedians right now who feel like... We can't make a joke out of any of this stuff, or mm -hmm. else it opens the door to all of it becoming a joke, and then right, that yeah. takes away a lot of the seriousness of it, which nobody wants to do. Mm -hmm. It's pretty scary. Yeah. It Although is scary. Melissa McCarthy kills it. Yeah, yeah she, she does. Pretty yeah. That's been my favorite thing on SNL. Yeah. yeah. yeah.